everybody, welcome back. Uh, I want to thank you all. We've got a lot of new subscribers since the last time. Uh, appreciate the views and likes on the videos. It, it means a lot, keeps me going. Uh, I wanted to take a second and talk about frostbite. Probably not going to fix anything in this video, but I wanted to talk about frostbite. Uh, we've done a lot of things to it, whether they've been filmed or not. There's been a lot done to this truck. I think the biggest one was the radiator. I let it sit and idle the other day. It was like 80, 83, 84 degrees. It sat and idled for about 60 minutes or more. It's pretty warm. It's not hot, but it's, it's warm. Temperature gauge never moved. I I've taken it out cruising. Since I've done that, it's probably been four to 600 miles. Never moves, never moves. So that right there, that's a success. This radiator, uh, there's some things I was disappointed about it. I got it from Summit. I got the Frostbite brand because I, I dig the, uh, the logo because this is Frostbite. I mean, I had to spend more. Hopefully you can see that. I dig that cap too, but the front of the radiator was supposed to have that logo on it and it didn't. So I was a little disappointed. Would I buy this radiator again? It works, yes. But so does the Summit brand radiator and it's quite a bit cheaper. So. They had a deal going on, it applied to their radiators. I passed up probably about 40 or 50 bucks to get this because I thought I had the logo on the front. But otherwise, super good purchase. These new, the new hardware for this to go, the, to sit on and then to hold it in place, another good purchase. Um, I was a little concerned about it because this is like a polish, everything else I got going on here is black, but it doesn't look bad. I mean, you see it and you're like, there's some new parts under there. So. That's good. Uh, we've got some more coming. Again, we did the battery and the battery tray. That was a, I want to say a must do for this truck. And I didn't realize how bad it was. The tray itself, the bottom had overlapped over itself. And if it wasn't for the, probably the world's strongest bungee, I think that was falling. I think it was going to just finally eat away and pretty soon I'd have a battery tip down, probably end up on a header and who knows what would happen at that point. So, uh, a lot of the stuff under here, really good. We've got some more stuff coming again. I'll get into that in a minute. These two upgrades here are amazing. The battery, the other day when the ignition wasn't working, I cranked and cranked and cranked, gave it a break, looked into some stuff, cranked and cranked, gave it a break, it kept going. Whereas the old battery, if I had to crank for more than probably 20 seconds, it didn't have enough juice. So just a failing battery, but the little things in life are what matters. So let's go inside and talk about the next month. So in this one, I'm going to kind of stand to the side, adjusting the steering wheel so that it's straight as I'm going down the road. That was a big one for me personally. It didn't really cost more than the tool I had. Uh, we now the column itself was a big plus. I mean, we've got tilt. It's able to have the overdrive here, new shifter, all kind of new stuff there that came with that. Plus, we got the turn signal switch. That's a big plus. We fixed the volts gauge down there. That's another huge plus. Um, we also put in the stereo, which the truck's pretty loud. I mean, if you crank it up, you can hear it. Uh, my future plans, which I'll go over in a minute, uh, the stereo is going to play a big part in that. So uh, then just some odds and ends down there. We tightened up the ignition wires, uh, put in some newer belts. I uh, need to still fix the seat, but just a few little odds and ends in here really make it, uh, make it nice, make it pop. Uh, the tilt wheel, I don't know. I don't know if I'd do it again. I'd probably just go with the standard because I have it up so it would be straight anyways. But I can see where somebody may want to tilt it down. I don't know. Not a, not a big deal. I don't know if I would do it again. So uh, tilt wheel, not a bad deal. Getting the wheel straight was big for me. Uh, one of the big things I've got coming for this truck is in the bed back there. It's going to be a new gas tank. All right, guys, this is the big one here. We've got the gas tank. It's behind here. Uh, it's not really a big problem. I mean, you do get a little fumes in there. I mean, they've been running like this since they came off the line and probably since earlier, probably been there since the 50s. Uh, I'm not a ga gas can expert or gas tank expert, but uh, they've been there for a very long time and there's been a few incidences with it, but nothing too much. Uh, but we are going to get rid of this. I mean, I'm keeping this on here because I want it to still look like that because that's how it's supposed to look. I don't care if it's a cleaned off look, but we're going to get rid of this gas tank. We're going to put an amp back there, probably an 8 or 10 inch sub, 6x9 and a 6x9 on that side, and then we're going to have a switch up there that I can turn on. Uh, so that way if I want some sound or I want to kind of show off a little bit if I'm with some buddies, 
Uh, I can hit the switch and the sound system can kind of go bananas. You don't need a lot in a little cab, even these, just these two 6x9s, uh, which are rock from Fosgate, which I like, uh, are plenty. But in the back of the truck there, we've got the gas tank. Uh, we're going to get some new LED side marker lights. Let me see if I can rotate you guys. Those lights right there, we're getting some LED ones of those. And then back down in the truck there, uh, we're getting rid of those pedals, I believe, and just going to go back to some rubber ones. I'm not 100% sure on that. I really don't like the pedals, but uh, it's little, little odds and ends. Uh, I just kind of want to, I don't know. I like the rubber pedals, I guess, and I kind of want to get them back to there. I've been looking for some new door skins, but these really aren't in bad shape, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we've got a few other little odds and ends coming. Let's go back up under the hood, and I'll show you kind of what I'm going to do there. What we've got here, I've got an electric fan coming. Uh, to me, that's going to be a big deal. Uh, it's going to take a lot of load off the engine. Uh, if you think about it, as you're just even going down the road, this, uh, this motor's still got to cut through the air to pull the air through the radiator uh, as it's going. So it is, it is a little bit of a load. I think you'll see, well, I think if you do this, I know I will see, and you should too, an increase in power because it's less load on the motor. Even though it's working the same kind of amount of effort putting forth, it's not working as hard. So it's going to be a little more efficient, which also means you're probably going to get a little better fuel economy. The thing I like is there's this gap here. I know I can buy a piece that covers this up. The electric fan's gonna go right to it, meaning there's not gonna be any need for this. We're gonna get rid of this mechanical fan. Uh, it's gonna be a really good thing. Uh, we're going LED headlights, I've told you about those. LED side markers and probably LED tails, which will help take some of the load off when the fan's running. So, not too worried about that. I think with some of the LED upgrades, even putting the fan on there, we're still gonna be perfect as far as how much we're putting out. And if we're not, we'll put on a bigger alternator. So. That's one of the big ones I'm excited for. The other one here, I've got to point you down the side. Let's Let's set up here. Set it's up here. really hard to see this. Um, this right here is about an inch and a half lower than that fender right there. So now I've got some lowering blocks coming in. I'm really excited to make that video because a lot of people are confused. Uh, do I do springs, spindles? Uh, there's a lot of options out there. You can do springs. All springs will lower you down. You can do spring spindle combo. You could just do spindles and springs in the back. You could do spindles and a block in the back. Um, when I get into that video, I've got some really cool things. I'm going to be able to show you what it does, and I'm excited to make that one. I just don't know when those are coming. But I'm only dropping this an inch because I last thing I want to do is lose this. Last thing I want to do is lose this uh, stance we've got here. So um, it's kind of being a pain in the butt, isn't it? Last thing I want to do is lose this stance. Uh, I dig the stance, but I want it to be a little more level. It still rakes up a bit, and I think bringing it down one inch in the back is going to have it sitting pretty close to perfect. If it's off a little bit, I can always go ahead and buy the inch and a half drop for the back. I definitely don't want to raise the front. I do want to drop the back, and I think after that I'm going to do a sway bar in the front here. It's a little bit, uh, you, you can tell, it needs it. So. Uh, we'll probably replace these as well with some LEDs for the front. But overall, Frostbike has some things coming. There's a lot of big things coming for it. Uh, my next video hopefully is going to come out tomorrow. I'm really excited to go over it with you with the with what we've uh, the opportunities some of us may have here in the next little bit with having some more free time. Uh, I'm excited for that. It's going to be about buying a project, what to look for, what to plan for, that kind of thing. So I'm really excited. I love looking for projects. With that, I kind of went over a lot of the things we've done to the truck, uh, things we're going to do in the near future. There are bigger plans down the road for this truck. Uh, I did want to give a little shout out to Tim and the Canadian Bubba. I really appreciate you guys commenting, watching the videos. Everyone else, thank you for the support. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for the likes, I mean everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But uh, the truck itself, uh, it has a little ways to go, but my confidence in this truck used to be here. Like I take it and I'm not going too far. I let everybody know where I'm going. Uh, it's close enough we could pull it home. Now I can take it. Uh, like I said, this year alone I put four to 500, well, probably four to 600 miles on it. Uh, since the radiator's been on, at least 400 since the radiator's been on, so uh, no real issues. I had one time when it died, but I pulled over to get a thumbnail by this building. It didn't really turn out anyways, which is sad. 
and I had to crank it to turn around to get out. Uh, so I was kind of idling, rolling slow, really low idle, which I think maybe just tweak it up just a hair. Turn cranked all the way, which puts a little extra stress on things, and it just bleh, died. Turned the wheel back just a little bit, took the load off of it, put a neutral, crank it, she fired right back up, home we went. So fuel economy, eh, not frostbite, strong suit. We'll see if this fan helps. I think it really will. Um, reliability, it's getting there. It's getting there. Every day we take this out, something little I can adjust, tweak, fix, whatever. Uh, some of the big plans down the road are going to add even more reliability to it. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. I really can't wait to make that video for you guys tomorrow. I know I mentioned it a little bit there uh, as we were looking down the side. I'm excited to see that back end drop and kind of do a suspension video for you guys because I've had um, a couple people reach out to me uh, on Instagram saying, hey man, what's, this, what, what's your truck got? What's that setup? Uh, I have to do what yours does because I want it to look like. There's a lot of ways to get there and we'll talk about that in an upcoming video. Like I said earlier, springs, spindles, lowering blocks, all those kind of things. Uh, we'll kind of go over the pros and cons of them. Uh, just little things like that. That's going to be a fun video. My project, uh, kind of helping you plan out for things you may not have thought about to buy a project. That's going to be another fun video. And putting these things on here is going to be another fun video. So uh, I was going to bring the Camaro up here, start working on it. But I got some real good momentum on Frostbite. I'm really feeling good about where we're at with Frostbite. So. Uh, the Camaro's still on hold. It's still going to come up. So is Nova. We're going to work on it. Um, but Frostbite is just, man, I tell you what, I just, the more I do to this and the more I drive it, the more I'm just so proud of it. And my dream truck is just becoming more and more and more cemented in as my dream truck. So with that being said, thank you for watching. I could talk all day about how just fortunate I am to have this and have the opportunity to make it perfect for me. So thank you. Leave a comment down below and we will see you very soon on the next one.